Hello, and we're here on breaking news following a magnitude 5.0 earthquake uh, centered in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, the earthquake occurred um, Pacific time, uh, Sunday, October 30th at uh, about 6.22 p.m. It occurred Monday, October 31st. 2011 at 1:22 uh, and five seconds uh, universal time, and uh, we're we're asking to cover this with uh, Tolik, the human representative of the Andromeda Council, because this apparently, on its face, may may represent a fulfillment or a confirmation that this 5.0 Gulf of Aden quake uh, may represent uh, Andromeda Council sonic beam weapons destroying the undersea reptilian base uh, that <clears throat> was discussed in our last update with Tolek, that undersea reptilian base in the Gulf of Aden uh, was, has been used for the last 5,000 years uh, with advanced reptilian weapons that sowed conflict and fear throughout all of the countries of the Middle East including, obviously, Israel and Palestine. So, with that background, and with very short notice, we're very grateful to have been able to have reached uh, Tolik and want to welcome him. Once again, uh, Tolik is maintaining a sort of a, a, a wall between his activities as a computer professional of some 20 years standing and his, and his activities as a human interface between the Andromeda Council and uh, the rest of our human society. Welcome, Tully. Hi, uh, hi Al. For good afternoon. How are you doing? Good. Well, was the 5.0 Gulf of Aden quake the one that occurred at uh, 5.22 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday, October 22nd. As far as you can determine, was that connected to any uh, activity by the Andromeda Council, possibly Andromeda Council sonic beams taking out and destroying the reptilian base uh, located under seas in the, uh, in the Gulf of Aden? Uh, yes, absolutely. I, uh, I had a conversation with, and I was able to confirm this event with the commander of the uh, the primary biosphere, where many of the Andromeda Council meetings are held. Uh, uh, this resulting 5.0 earthquake, uh, this was a strike by the Procyon people uh, against this underground reptilian base. And the people of Procyon are just doing their job as promised. And this undersea base is now completely collapsed and destroyed. Right. Where? So, so where exactly was the undersea base located? Ah, uh, good question. If you, uh, if you, and and any anybody who has followed this particular story. If they take a look at the second map that's posted on the ExoPolitics website, which is the Google map, showing the the uh, Saudi Arabian, Yemen, Oman Peninsula. South of Yemen, where the words the Gulf of Aden is spelled out in tiny white letters against the deep blue Gulf water, to the left of these words, you'll see a small square box. 
And at the meeting of the, if you will, like the vertical left line of the box and the horizontal top line of that box in the far left-hand corner, exactly due west of this corner is where the base was located. Uh, you can more exactly place it just north of this spot where there is a relatively small hill, of course this is on the ocean floor, that you can see on the map. And this is where the base was located, just north of this hill. And next to it, just west of the small hill, is a mountain range. Right. Now, I, I, I'm also looking at, which I think you have may have seen, and in our report, we'll be uh, reproducing these maps as well. This is a map by the U.S. Geological Survey, who issued... Uh, a map of the location of the 5.0 earthquake. And I guess if we take it, uh, it's almost, uh, I would say, <clears throat> almost at the 48 degree uh, longitude and maybe at the 12.5 latitude at those two crosshairs, i.e. right almost right in the um, middle of the Gulf, and it's uh, maybe uh, due southeast of al Mukalla. Do those yeah. two places uh, correspond, i.e., where the U.S. Geological Survey says that the earthquake occurred, and where your Andromeda Council sources say that the base was located and that their action occurred. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I, uh, if you look at this Google map that I sent to you, yeah. which, which show these words, uh, the Gulf of Aden, and okay. you, you see the little small square box, and um, because I'm not scientifically oriented, I'm, I'm gonna speak in more broad terms. Okay. But if you, if you took that Google map and you overlay it on top of this map that the USGS is providing, they're almost an exact match in terms of where the quote-unquote quake occurred as compared to where the base was. <laughs> okay. So yes, yes, they're very much an exact match of the location of the quake and where the undersea sea base used to be. Okay. Now, uh did did the um, commander of the primary biosphere of the Andromeda Council, did they describe what went on during the actual strike? Sure, I'd be happy to tell you about it. Um, much like uh, many of the other actions to take out the underground bases uh, across the southwest of the U.S., the one in Virginia, and others around the globe, the people from the Procyon system are the ones that are, are doing this, this actual work. And of course, these people are a member of the Andromeda Council. So, to answer your question exactly, um, this time, uh, and again, they were using a specific pinpointed sonic beam, a sonic energy beam. They first aimed it directly at what they found to be an area that's the weakest part of a protective energy shield that was, if you will, protecting this domed undersea base. And the people from Procyon kept focusing this sonic beam on this area of the shield that was the weakest until they finally broke through. Um, the commander showed me, he gave me these visual images of buildings collapsing unto themselves. And as you can imagine, with the intense pressure that this deep underwater, um, about thousands of feet underwater, with the intense pressure that's that's this far down, uh, it absolutely hastened the collapsing of all the structured bases inside, all the structures inside the base, and of course the amount of water rushing in was was just amazing. Um, in addition, he also showed me that they hit the mountain range just due west of that hill and that base. And they hit this mountain range to purposely blast it and bury the remains of this undersea base 
under tons of mountain rubble. So, uh, you know, in, in closing, um, I want to let you know that I asked, because I typically, uh, I bug these guys, I, I want to confirm what I learned, so I asked them for confirmation that this action, that this strike of this particular base had in fact completely destroyed it and that there, no additional action was needed, and he said, yes, this base is completely destroyed. Right. Well, you know, let me ask you just a few follow-up questions because this is um, uh, a remarkable series of patterns and convergences here and correlations. First, uh, we have the communication uh, to you uh, from the Andromeda Council and sort of a final formal communication as to the two major bases, uh, the two major Draco and Hydra reptilian bases that uh, really <clears throat> under, under sea bases, one in operation for 5,000 years, the other for 3,000 years, the one for 5,000 years, the one at the Gulf of Aden, uh, and the other one in front of China and the Asian region. And that communication was on October 26th that we published that that article. And yeah, less, less yeah, than and, five days ago. Yeah, and by the way, that, that article made Google News, so it was available to yeah. the world, to the world yeah. media. And today is October 31st, and the, the, the earthquake, today's October 31st, and it's now just at about 6 p.m. It's 5.55 p.m. So it's about 24 hours since the earthquake. And so the, so the attack happened within 48 hours or so of the publication of that article, a little more than 48 hours. Uh, so uh, it it appears that there was almost a public a, a public relations strategy by the Andromeda Council to make known their intentions publicly in a way that would reach Google News and would be a matter of public record, and then for this attack to take place in a way that it was published by the by the US the, the US Geological Survey, which is how we found out about it, and then we we notified you and asked for confirmation uh of the Andromeda Council and be, and so we're beginning to make these correlations. Do you have any comment on that or that that kind of cycle? The first interview, the release of that story, which is, and to be clear, that's that that very first interview, uh, which I guess reintroduced the Andromeda Council formally to people who were following this information. That reintroduction essentially said there is not going to be any what people have called false flag attack. There's not going to be any make-believe alien invasion. None of that's going to happen. Why? Because the affiliated planets of the Andromeda Council, after waging a multi-year proxy war against the reptilians and their alliance partners, the Greys, had defeated them in outer space around the end of January, February. And they also said, the continuance and, and bringing closure of this war would be to come down on this planet and to take out various reptilian and gray underground and, of course, undersea bases. And they've continued to do that. Um, the first one that made big news was the one in Virginia. Uh, then there were others across the southwest in New Mexico, uh, Arizona, Colorado, other places, and other places around the world. 
So this is actually uh, a continuing story. And I want to come back to this particular story. When we spoke about these two bases, we talked about them as being an additional challenge because they were so deep underwater. I knew that they were making plans to take out these bases. I couldn't talk about strategically how they were going to do about it, how they were going to do it, or when. But I knew that they had plans in the near future to take them out. And we see the results today. Right. So, in terms of, we've discussed, um, we've discussed many times that to date, there is no physical evidence that we can point to of the Andromeda Council's interactions with you, Tolik. But that there is the evidence of the correlations that occur during and after your communications. In other words, the, the results of the August 23rd, 2001 shallow earthquake centered in Virginia and under Washington, D.C., directed at the underground bases, gray and reptilian bases under Washington, D.C., that earthquake right. being at one-tenth of a kilometer. Right. So, and, that, and, that, and that whole tunnel system as well. Yeah, and the whole tunnel system as well. And independent researchers who initially said that those were nuclear explosions and then flipped and said, no, those were not nuclear explosions. Those were uh, interventions by advanced extraterrestrials using frequency weapons, which is what the Andromeda Council sonic beam weapons are. Uh, so we have that correlation, and now we have the correlation of a of information and the prediction by the Andromeda Council sources on in a in a in in a major Google News article published on October twenty six two thousand and eleven, saying that there were there was the Gulf of Aden undersea base, reptilian base, and the China undersea base, and that the Gulf of Re the Gulf of Aden base was the priority base and that it would be attacked. And that, lo and behold, uh, a few days later, on October 30th, at 5.22 p.m. Pacific time, that base was attacked, and the physical manifestation of that attack through, sonic beam, through Andromeda Council sonic beam weapons was identical to that in the underground bases in Washington, namely an earthquake. So these are the types of correlations. Now, you as, as a, an Andromeda Council contactee, uh, how do you feel about, to date, the sole evidence being that of correlations rather than direct physical evidence? Um, I, I'm, I'm actually very comfortable with whatever process that, that they use to communicate with me in their multiple processes. But I'm also really comfortable with um, the outcomes of what they say is going to happen and what they say they're going to do. Um, as I mentioned when we, when we addressed this topic in the last interview, I was happy and willing to talk about, in general, where the ba where each base was located, the Gulf of Aden, and in general, where the base is located off of the coast of China. But I couldn't talk about strategic information nor tactical information. I knew that they were going to strike soon. I did not know how soon, but they, they indicated they were going to be taking action, and they've taken action. Um, you know, they've always, they've always been, uh, very warm and very open and very willing to answer any questions that I've had, ever had for them, from them. 
for them over and over and over again. It's been a year. <laughs> it's been a year and and uh, a couple of months of me asking a lot of questions, and they've been all they've always been very forthcoming and answering any questions that I've asked. So uh, I'm completely comfortable with the way they communicate with me. I really am. Good. Okay. Well, are are there any other points that you would like to mention about? this particular news update, the 5.0 Gulf of Aden earthquake, uh, which plausibly may be the Andromeda Council sonic beam weapons destroying the reptilian base, undersea base in the Gulf of Aden. Well, I'm, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> uh, I'm actually very certain that the people from Procyon who are uh, who were one of the senior members of the Andromeda Council have have done their work and continue to do their work. It, it's it's their job. There are some other other star systems assisting them, but they are the lead star system responsible for doing this work. They took out this base. Uh, the next step is to focus on and take out the base off of the coast of China, and I'm sure that. Uh, they, yeah, I'm sure that they will. They will do whatever whatever means are necessary to uh, to identify that base, uh, to identify the weaknesses of that base, and and take it out at its earliest possible moment. I won't know exactly when that is, but I will give you this promise: uh, as soon as I get the heads up that 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 base is destroyed, I'll I'll give you uh, I'll give you a heads up as well. I'll get in touch with you and let you know. You know, now, this may just be a coincidence, but today, October 31st, 2011, Halloween, is also the day that Palestine was officially voted into the United Nations Educational social and cultural organization. I mean, what could be better than education, social, and cultural? And I'm just wondering whether the October 31st Gulf of Aden earthquake was in any way causally related to the vote to admit Palestine to UNESCO, the United Nations Education, Cultural and Social Organization. Wow, I um, I had I honestly hadn't thought of it from that perspective. I you know this is the first time that I've learned of the of this event. Um, I can tell you this: whenever I speak with the uh, the the, uh, the commander on the primary primary biosphere, and I've had. You know, we're talking a year and a couple of months of me being a pain in the butt, asking a lot of questions and getting answers and asking more questions. As, as I was asking last week about their plans, I, I knew enough that it was okay for me to report this story of, listen, they're having a challenge out of all of the bases that we're dealing with, the ones in the one in Virginia, the tunnels. Uh, New Mexico, Colorado, all through the Southwest and continuing around the world, I knew that they were having a pretty easy going with most of them, but that they were having a challenge with a couple of them, one being the undersea base in the Gulf of Aden, the second being the undersea base located off the base of China, uh, off the coast of China. That hadn't been said, I could talk about these stories without identifying specific tactical and strategic information. However, understand that they're able to look down the timeline. They can see what has already happened. They can make their plans all sorts of different ways. So I also recognize that they also have a sense or an appreciation of synergy, synchronicity. Maybe that's the best word to call it. Maybe it's a parallel of events. I think it's simply amazing that you have a new sense of freedom, a new platform for communication 
and discussion by all of the people in the Mideast at the same time that this undersea base is taken out. No more reptilians, no more aggressive anger, confusion, fear-based energy pumped toward the Middle East. And uh, I think it speaks well for a possible new era, new era of peace for the people in the East, for everybody in that region. I, I think it's amazing. Um, I don't know if he planned it that way, but I'd say it's a good call if he did. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have any any final thoughts on this on this uh, totally unexpected news bulletin update? Um. I have a couple a couple thoughts. The first one is, um, personally, I'm ecstatic for the people of the Middle East. This base has been here for 5,000 years, and their lives have been thrown into disruption and upheaval for the greater portion of their time of that time, and they didn't even know why. As as the commander said originally, they are unwitting, I'm paraphrasing him, they're unwitting and unknowing pawns on a chessboard. I, for them, I'm just really happy that they have an opportunity to live new free lives without um, the negative energetic abuse from these, from these reptilians from the Thunder Beast Center Sea Base. That's the first thought. The second thought is um, the people from Procyon, member of the Andromeda the council will continue to do their job, and the uh, the next target is the base off the coast of China, and they will take this base out. Absolutely. Well, thank you. And uh, Tolik, thank you very much for participating in this bulletin, and please thank uh, the uh, representatives of the Andromeda Council on our behalf. Um, I, I will do that, and by the way, you should know that uh, they are also honored uh, due to your help and participation to get, it's, it's simply, if you will, a news, news service. We're helping to get the information out to, uh, to anybody across the globe that is interested, and they, they just they want, to, want to let you know that they're honored by your help and your service. Plain oh, and excellent. simple. Yeah, yeah, well, this is Exopolitics TV. Oh, and well I, said. <laughs> well know, said. And uh, may you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks again, Alfred.